happening in the hearts that are responsive is a massive explosion of a harvest, something that just would have to be by divine power, and that has to be by divine preparation. So you're starting to get a feel for what this is about. This is both um, clarifying to us and encouraging, is it not? Well, now we're going to understand why people respond the way they respond, and uh, we're going to be encouraged that when people do respond, it is supernatural and their lives explode in a spiritual harvest. When you talk about influence, talk about um, people who have influence. You know, when somebody becomes a Christian, comes to know the Lord Jesus Christ, that person has such power coming through them by the Spirit of God res resident in them and the truth that they proclaim that God will use them to bring others to Christ and others to Christ and it just becomes exponential and it spreads, doesn't it? That's the 30, 60, 100. Not all of us are going to have the same spiritual impact, but we're all going to have an impact that could never be explained as human. That's the point. It, it can't be explained. That's why Paul says, I read it to you in 2 Corinthians 3. We're not adequate for these things. This can't be human. So the, the bad news is expect a rejection. The good news is when the soil is prepared by God, there's going to be an explosion of spiritual fruit and the harvest will go on and on and on and on and on. I, um, a nice young man in our church was recently in Prince Edward Island and I had said in a church service that uh, my great-grandfather was a pastor of St. James Kirk, Presbyterian Kirk in Prince Edward Island uh, back in the 1800s. So when he was up there, he started digging around and found all kinds of things about my great-grandfather. Um, Thomas Fullerton was his name, and uh, he was pastor there at the main church in Charlottetown for about 28 years. He was a chaplain in the Canadian uh, military and he went to the Boer War in South Africa fought and, and did ministry among the troops. Um, and you look back at that and you say, okay, there's a, a... His father was also a pastor who had been in Scotland and then gone to Australia and come there. And at some point the Lord plowed the heart of that family and it just kept going and it kept going and it kept going and it came down through my... my from my great-grandfather to my grandmother, his daughter and then through her to my father, and then through me, and this, this is the explosion. And we're all in this process somewhere. All of our lives intersect, and that's the, that's the good news in the story, and the disciples needed to hear that because it, it all basically looked like it wasn't going anywhere. Well, 